I have a lot of videos on interference, but I've never had one like this one we are about to see. Interference and obstruction calls in baseball are the most misunderstood and therefore usually the most contested and argued calls by coaches. Hearing the fans can be outright comical. Thirteen of those sixteen were in the circle. Two zero. Shows bunt, lays it down up the first baseline, collides with the defender. Throw to first is in time anyway. Cadlub a little slow to get up. I think they're going to get interference here, no doubt. Let's see how far off the line Thole was. I, I mean, she's several steps inside. That's a good two steps. We saw immediately Jonathan Hand motion. YouTube decided to recommend this video to me, and it was quite interesting. Only the video I watched had all the comments turned off. Why, people? So I have questions, and I want to find out if there's some softball rule I was not aware of. Because this did not end the way I expected, and this is Division I, so these three umpires presumably know what they are doing. My initial thoughts from a baseball umpire. This has to be either obstruction on F1 or interference by the batter runner. If the umpire protects the catcher, which is reasonable, then it's obstruction by the first baseman. That means time should be called immediately and the runner is safe at first. Other runners would be awarded bases they would have reached had no obstruction occurred. If the umpire judges that the first baseman is a protected fielder, then this is interference. The ball is dead immediately and the batter runner is out for the interference and any other runner on base has returned to the base last occupied at the time of the pitch. That's for baseball, and I'm quite certain every baseball rule set is the same on this situation. So maybe NCAA softball has a different ruling for this specific play, which would make sense because these types of plays are very common in softball and bunting is a big part of the game. If you're an NCAA umpire, or no one, post a comment with a rule that justifies calling this nothing, which the umpire appears to be doing. Then they end up with a runner out at first and the other runner is left at third. Then the commentators end by saying the batter runner was put out due to interference. But they must be wrong because then the runner would be on second base and not third. So, in conclusion, check the comments to find out the correct answer, eventually. But I am assuming that NCAA softball has a rule not too dissimilar from the armbrister tangle untangle rule in baseball that applies when the catcher and batter runner get tied up immediately after the ball is put in play when both are doing the correct action. Post in the comments what you think should have happened on this play, and since we're here and this is normally a baseball channel, why don't you post what would happen, in your opinion, if this was a baseball game. So, all things aside, Mattia is at third, with an opportunity to give Michigan the lead in the top of the eighth. So the Wolverines kind of come out with a benefit once the dust settles of moving the runner, despite an out being put up. Yeah, shout out to Cadlip too. Not complaining, not throwing her arms out. Took a big hit, too. Just popped up, and after a long discussion, batter's interference, the call. 